Well, tonight, NASA has its eyes set to the moon. In just a few days, Artemis 1 is scheduled to return Americans to lunar orbit, return American to lunar orbit for the first time in about 50 years. This is so exciting. Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf live outside Johnson Space Center tonight with more on the mission. I bet you're excited too, Matthew. I can't wait. Not that we're counting, but it's about 58 hours till launch, and this mission could set the stage for future trips to the moon and beyond. That's one small step for man. It's the final countdown for America's return to the moon. Artemis 1 set to launch Monday, an uncrewed test flight rocketing to lunar orbit. This is really the first test of all of this new technology before we send humans on board the Iran capsule. Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. Almost 60 years ago, President John F. Kennedy ignited the space race. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Now a new mission taking off to colonize the moon and explore further than anyone has gone before. We got to explore our solar system. We got to explore the, the universe and beyond. And this is really the first big step since the Apollo mission. NASA already announcing plans for future Artemis missions, including landing the first woman and black man on the moon. Uh, it's long overdue. Former NASA astronaut Robert Satcher spent nearly two weeks in space in 2009. Now it's directly relatable. You know, these kids will actually see people, whoever they are, that look like them on the moon. And that just really opens up the imagination. Artemis 1, NASA's most powerful rocket ever, sending the unpiloted Orion crew capsule on a 42-day trip around the moon, a launching point for future lunar missions and beyond. So this is a test mission. If successful, NASA hopes to send people to the moon within two years. We're live outside Johnson Space Center tonight. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.